so Joey, I want to start off with a sort of big picture perspective on what you're seeing in the in the market right now in, in your in your businesses. You have such a diverse array of businesses, but it seems like you're seeing a disconnect between the consumer and the business spending. Tell us what you're seeing. Yeah, that's right. The 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 advertisers pulled back, corporate spend pulled back pretty quickly, really in June. Uh, but we're still seeing the consumer spend, and we can see that at Turo, we can see that at MGM, we can see that even within Dot Dash Meredith, where we're publishing a lot of content and uh, users are are uh, transacting or going to retail sites or making purchases from our sites. And where we see users transacting, they're they're still willing to spend uh, both on experiences and on things. But the the advertisers seem to have pulled back a little bit, uh, and and corporations also we see in our Blue Crew business where their hiring you know hiring has pulled back a little bit, uh, and and that happened pretty quickly, and and we think ahead of any reduction in spend at the consumer. I'm going to ask more about advertising in a bit, but I want to return to this question about the consumer and how the impact of inflation. Uh, and so much macroeconomic uncertainty is playing out. Are you seeing it, it play out in terms of Angie and how people are thinking about investing in their homes? I mean, is that a different type of category with a pullback in the in housing market? That one, it's really hard to tell because there was so much spend on people's homes a year ago today. It was a sort of exorbitant peak there. Uh, given everything that was happening last year, people spending time in their homes, having spent a lot of time in their homes, uh, the spend on the homes was uh, enormous. So that has come back. It's not clear that that's come back because people have less money to spend. It seems like that's come back because people are spending money on other things. We can see that, again, in the, the breadth of, of sites we publish in the publishing business. We can see interest in, in things like uh, finance and home has come down, where interest in uh, other things has gone up, like travel. And we can see that spend in travel. So we think that's more of a shift. The other thing that, that happens in our Angie business, and we can see this now, is as consumers spend less on their homes or are doing less jobs on their homes, the service professionals in those categories are more eager to find jobs on our platform. And so spend on service professionals in those areas goes up to, to counterbalance that. Interesting. So sort of more, more supply on the, um, on the people offering to work side. Um, shifting over to the digital ad business, uh, you did see a decline in Dot Dash Meredith, 7% decline in Dot Dash Meredith um, uh, in that business. And I know that is a meaningful piece of IAC, 17% of your revenue. Lay out what you're seeing just in terms of the ad market there and how you're trying to transform transform that magazine business. Yeah, so the... the um Overall ad rates, we think, are down somewhere in the neighborhood of 5 to 10 percent. Uh, there are still plenty of people advertising. It's just where their advertising is different. Automakers not advertising so much, given the, 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 the supply constraints there. Uh, travel folks advertising again. Uh, it's it's a, a pretty wide mix. What's happening, though, at Dot Dash Meredith specifically, is we took on uh, a older uh, print publisher. And they had a tremendous collection of brands, uh, Better Homes and Gardens, Food and Wine, um, yeah. Travel. And these brands now, we've moved to digital first. And digital first means that we're, we've moved them onto the Dot Dash platform or in the process of moving them onto the Dot Dash platform with faster sites, fewer ads, and uh, improving monetization. And what we expect to happen in that is that traffic will grow over time. And we've done that a few times across uh, other uh, properties we've acquired and, and early signs on that are, are very encouraging on what we think is possible there.